APS families, this is your superintendent, Dr. Lisa Herring, and I want to share some important information with you. Your principals and teachers have been working hard to make sure this will be an excellent school year for you and your students. Today, I want to spotlight the district's quarantine protocols. The first thing you need to know is there's a difference between quarantine and isolation. Quarantine keeps someone who might have been exposed to the virus away from others. Isolation keeps someone who is infected with the virus away from others, even in their home. Now that you know the difference, the other piece of information you need is regarding when to quarantine after exposure to a positive case. People who are not vaccinated and have been in close contact with someone who has COVID-19 need to quarantine. You may be asking, but what does close contact mean exactly? Our health information webpage on the APS website will help answer many of your additional questions, such as, what counts as close contact? Who doesn't need to quarantine after exposure? Who from my student's school will be included in quarantine? After the school year starts, what will outbreak-related closures look like? If a student or teacher tests positive for COVID-19 but is asymptomatic, can he or she still report to school? What is the time frame for reporting exposures to parents? And why does APS require masks to be worn indoors? Please visit atlantapublicschools.us and click on the hashtag APS Protects graphic at the top of our homepage carousel. To get these answers to frequently asked questions, plus detailed information about how APS will handle contact tracing and tracking, how you should report exposure, when and where to get tested, and the benefits of vaccines for eligible students and staff. We have plans in place for various scenarios, and the health information webpage breaks that down for you, so you can know what your student's instructional plan may look like in the case of COVID infection or exposure in their classroom or school. We are as prepared as possible to address some emerging issues and pivot as needed. The responsibility falls on all of our shoulders, so please keep up with our mask up protocols and our health screening tool. And let's all do our best to be healthy, especially to protect those students under 12 who are not yet eligible for vaccination.